guys. Okay, so this is my friend Nikki. Hi. She just moved to New York <laughs> City, guys. That's crazy, right? All right, so if my friends are in New York City, I have to see them. <laughs> For real. Like, that don't make no sense. I can't come to New York City and not see my friends. You cannot come here and not okay. see Okay. <laughs> so, what I love about Nikki is that she's, she's very similar to the way I think. We're always trying to, like, find ourselves, trying to, like, yes. find out what makes us happy, um, trying to stick to our goals not to get sidetracked and trying to do bigger things we both have the entrepreneurship bug yes <laughs> we got For sure, a long right? time we got ago, a long time ago. <laughs> and you know being an entrepreneur doesn't mean that you that you don't have a job you know Absolutely. i read this book that said that um when you're in the beginning stage of being an entrepreneur you should have a job i wish I would have kept my job at home. Okay, I'm gonna put in my teeth and I'll eat. No. <laughs> like, you think I would have been sitting here this whole time without No, I don't think You got like broccoli in your teeth yeah. and carrots. That would be really, really uncomfortable. No, it's like crazy, Chloe. And I'm glad, like, you mentioned that. Like, we were just talking about that. Like, you know, sometimes you have to kind of stay in that place, that sad place, and just. Feel it, allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to go through it instead of ignoring it. Right. You mentioned like sometimes we feel like we're in this really sad low place and it's like be positive or do this or you have to get to that place. But it's like, why can't you just allow yourself to feel for a second? Because the world makes us feel like we shouldn't feel. The world will make us feel like we're weak. But I think there is strength. I think you are strong when you live in that vulnerability, when you show people that, you know what, everything is not okay right now. Yeah. But look at what I'm doing to get better. That's you know what I'm saying? I think when you ignore your sadness and when you ignore Girl. your problems, mm -hmm. That's how I think, that's how mental illness comes along. That's how you see people, you know, just having a blowout, crazy moment running outside naked, you know? Cause mm -hmm. they allow things to just build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up. Not in all situations. Some people are really have schizophrenia or something like that. Right? So many things in our lives are mental. So it's like, you know, when we're sad, when we're feeling depressed, when we continue to think or like we're sad and depressed, we stay in that place and we get lower and lower. You ever thought about, when you're not feeling good and you keep telling yourself, oh, I feel so sick, I feel horrible. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh. We caught the computer. Woo. It was going Thank down. Thank goodness nothing in here. <laughs> it was going down. Yeah, but have you ever like thought about, thought something like, you kept telling yourself like, I don't feel good, I don't feel good, and then you just really stop feeling good. But then when you start saying things like, you know what, I wanna feel better, I wanna do better things, you start doing those things because you're mentally telling yourself like, right, when you know better, do. you do better. It's but so I think true. that takes research. And it takes you time. You know, it too. takes time, it takes research. Like you can't just, if you're sad, I don't think you could just say, you know what, I'm happy today and that's it. I think you have to focus on the things that make you happy like I was saying mm -hmm. talking to my mother and my sister on a daily basis makes me happy so you know what I mean that. so do more of that you know yeah trying but to you have such a good attitude yeah sometimes not all the time <laughs> well I'm saying you like know? for the most I think overall overall yeah because because what else am I gonna do yeah. but you know I mean at mean? least you know I think going through these processes that we go through in life as long as you can learn to have a good attitude about it i can't say that i have the best attitude sometimes sometimes i could be a b-word you know right I, but I'm, I'm trying to work through that so i can be nicer to people because just because i'm going through my own personal stuff doesn't mean you take it people, out especially anybody. not the people i love too because sometimes right. we do that we do that when we get upset and we take it out on the people we yeah, love absolutely. and we think they're supposed to deal with it just because it's us no mm -hmm. that's not fair you know Kind of go back to that thing of treat people how you want to be treated. Treat people how you want to be treated. Because I've spoken to people who have so many followers on social media and so much this, so much that, but they're going through stuff mentally, like <laughs> literally. And I'm like, that goes to show like nobody is better than anybody else. Even if your money is longer mm. or your following is longer, you still are going through stuff. And to pretend you're not, that's when you go through even more stuff. If you're just open with the world about who you are, that's how they're gonna treat you. But if you're giving the world a lie, they're gonna treat you on that lie, mm -hmm. and now you're feeling all confused, you're feeling like nobody understands you, you're feeling like you're by yourself and stuff, but right. you also put that out. It's funny you say that, because I remember times like back in the day, like I used to put on this persona like I had it all together, right? But I was like going through a lot of self-esteem issues, I had low confidence, but I had friends and I was popular, but it was really, they I was no struggling, right? No because I, there was always this expectation that I had to be this person. But now, 
girl, you gonna know everything. <laughs> like, dang, I didn't know you been through that. Like, this year, Chlora has been like, it's been one of those years, you know, like. Doesn't it feel something freeing about just being yourself? And being honest, because right. now I can relate to you and you can relate to me. Because we didn't know this about each other no, in the beginning. No, until we talked about it. I get it, you know, and I think for us as women, we need to stop looking at social media and we need to stop comparing ourselves and we need to just And enjoy. it's the most hardest thing ever. No, it is, too. it's very hard, mm -hmm. but I mean, we have to go through these days on our own, you know, so why do we continually, like continue to beat ourselves up when we have to go through the process, that person on social media don't have to go through. Oh, we don't even through. know what they're going through. Right, and it could be a you lot of workers. It? it could be a it lot of I feel like when you help other people, it's like you're helping yourself mm -hmm. because you That's can't good. be com you you can't be completely down. You know, so that means you are strong when you're able to help someone else. And when you realize that if you help someone else, that doesn't do anything to your shine, yeah. but add somebody else to your team. And it gives you joy to do it. Too. Oh my God. Girl, we can talk about this all day. What? <laughs> and we about to go eat. But guys, ah! she's gonna be in this vlog the rest of the day because we're about so to go excited. eat. And then we're gonna like go to the city and like just do some stuff. I don't Wait, know. I gotta tell you guys, like I'm so appreciative. Ah! Now listen, we about to cry because we, we're both Libras. Yeah, and we you know, just, maybe that's why we get along No, so we good. do. Like Libras are the best. I'm not diminishing any other right, sign, right. but I'm just saying like we are so phenomenal. And it took some time to get here, so we should celebrate that. You right, know? But right. Chlora is, oh my God, like I can't even begin to oh. tell you about this girl. Like, <laughs> she brings me so much happiness. She, oh God, like, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, we have crying babies. Like, listen, I talked to her last week. I called her crying. Like, I met her through my best friend. Hey, she's hi. been, hey, <laughs> I'm like, I know she's gonna watch this. I saw me, you guys check it out. Um, but like I met her through my best friend Farrah and ever since I met Cloris like she's just been so sweet and so nice to me and just so loving and so she's like so down to earth like she knows she has all these followers and everything but she's like so down to earth and she helps you like it's people out here who's like at that level and they won't even like look at you because they feel like you know whatever like you're not on my level I can talk to you but Cloris doesn't do that like her heart is so pure and she's so sweet hey, and like no, seriously, like she got me. I started doing like the vlogs and everything because of her. Like she encouraged me to do it. People want to see that yeah, stuff, and, and I just didn't one know. Or two like people. even myself, like I always say that I need to. It's hard to promote yourself. Isn't no, it, it is because then you feel like, oh, I don't want to be like this person. Like right, I don't want people right. to think I'm conceited, but. Who cares about Who all that? Cares? Like life is so short to care about what people I'm a, think I'm about you. I'm gonna show you this other video because a oh lot of people gosh. inspire me. This is a girl named Shameless Maya, right? Girl, I look, look when she cut her hair on video. Oh. I was like, look, I'm about to just cut my hair on video. It's <laughs> so inspiring. No, right? seriously, like, other people really inspire. You find your own groove, you know. I think, and that could be hard. No, it is very so hard. So how do you think somebody could find their own? Well, this groove? is. I think I'll, I'll tell you personally, like my like how I do it. Like two years ago, I went through a dramatic change in my life I was I had low self-esteem low confidence I was going through the like serious stages of depression I was suicidal like not a lot of people know that I was very suicidal I felt like I didn't want to kill myself but I wanted to harm myself so people would notice me mm. I wanted that attention mm. and people you know people we're don't know. all going through this right and that's how the, my organization the I am community came about because literally one morning I was just tired of being sad I was tired of going through and you're like what can I do and I just literally wrote down I got a sheet of paper six o'clock in the morning I couldn't even freaking sleep and got a sheet of paper and I just start writing down I am like I am like and if I wasn't that thing at the time it was something that I wanted so I'm like I am a business owner I am powerful I'm amazing I'm loved people love me people honor me and I'm telling myself this and literally Chlor, I after I filled the page up before I filled it up it was kind of hard because when I'm in the middle of the page I'm like no no what no, else no. am I because we don't get used to people encouraging us every day so you literally got to do that for yourself, yourself. Yeah. and I wrote it and then I took a picture and I posted on social media after that People start doing their affirmations. And that's when I was like, you know what? This is like something that people need. Exactly. But I didn't want to just focus only on the affirmations. I wanted to focus on co building community. Lifestyle. Like people, like we're in this together. Like let's encourage each other. Let's 
like make you should happen. make a, a facebook page have you, have I, you I do have one i have one on but it's just about promoting it more right yeah and I, that's why we're going through like a real in-depth rebranding coming the new year um and i'm really excited about the changes some changes that i want to do with the organization just to kind of build it a little stronger um and to get the word out more but i'm really happy about it honestly core even now when i feel sad you know you know my story like right, you know my right. mom passed this year and um that has been really, really hard for me. And there are times when I'm like sad. I'm walking in the streets of New York crying. I know these people like, what is wrong with this girl? But I just, you know, I, I use those moments, those sad moments to just literally talk to myself like, Nikki, you know you're going through this. What you need to do right now is trust. You mm -hmm. need to trust the process. It's just the process. It's right. temporary. It's just the process. It's yeah. temporary. It's like, hard though. No, it's very hard. And that's why I have to continually talk to myself. Don't let your fear cripple you. Yeah. Because I'm scared. Yeah. Like <laughs> I'm terrified out here. I was like, I don't know how. I mean, I'm getting old. What? But I, but I always keep going. You can ask anybody. No matter how afraid I am, I always keep going. Yeah. And I think that's also one of my strengths. Yeah. You know what I mean? But anyways, guys, we're gonna go because we actually have a long night. We need food. Oh. We need food. But before we go, I want to show you about YouTube. Okay. And don't forget to follow her. I'll leave her link right here wow, and in the description bar.